This company is so intent on kicking the, our families out of this mine forever. They picked a fight with our union. They picked a fight with our members and this community. It's hard. It's You don't know day by day whether you're going to be able to pay the bills. Every year they've gone to summer camps and to now say you can't go because we can't afford it this year. It's not, it's not what we signed up for. And at the end of the day we just want to go back to work. Compass Mountain Minerals has been running scabs for over 10 weeks, and today we clean house. Jerry Dias just, just said, you know what, this has been long enough, let's get at this, and he said, we're going to ramp it up, and the call went out and everybody responded. So, 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 solidarity! Uh, when Jerry and Lana and the leadership team went in there uh, and walked those workers out, that was a defining moment for our union, for sure. So, so, so! To stand next to our national president, Jerry Diaz, shoulder to shoulder and walk scabs off our property, that was the proudest day of my life and uh, I'll never forget it and appreciate it. <laughs> I, ha I had goosebumps when we marched those scabs out of here. So, 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 solidarity, don't come back. There's nothing better than seeing those scabs do the walk of shame. You should all be proud of yourselves. So I have to thank the incredible activists that traveled from across the province to be here to join these members in solidarity. But it's not only about our members on strike, it's the way the community is coming together. It's the way they're, they're getting incredible support. It's been huge what Unifor's done for us. You know, we have, we have barbecues down here. We got people, you know, live music, uh, people donating from, from food to, to, to gear, to stuff for the kids, water bottles, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's amazing. The solidarity, the unity that I've seen, again, not just from the union, but also from the community, is, it was overwhelming and, and great to see. The turning point was when the local and the national got together and got the scabs out of the plant. As soon as we got them out of the plant and out of the mine, they no longer could produce any salt, produce any product, and all of a sudden we were costing them millions of dollars a day, and it absolutely made the bargaining proceed more smoothly. We've told them a number of times that there's not going to be a scab entering this site again until we get a collective agreement in place. I don't think there is a union out there, a union out there that has taken on scabs and replacement workers like we have and the world is watching. Watch your bad boys from the lake and the hill. We bring this to the table today and we had our brothers make the decision to move forward and to move forward is to go back to work. We control this place. Regardless of what they say. We think we've found the way in which to uh, strengthen our bargain incredibly up against the most horrible of employers, particularly those from the U.S., frankly, who like this scab trick and their use of the scab trick. And we're not going to allow it in Canada, and we proved that here today, and we won't going forward. I think that this shows all those uh, companies that are messing with our membership that, you know, Unifor is a force to be reckoned with, and we will not back down. Watch your back, boys, from the lake and the We've now been locked out for 19 weeks, no respect, no compassion, they don't care that we have kids, We're, most of us are mothers, and they don't care. They care about just thickening their wallets and not ours. There's a fair amount of pressure on the employer to agree to return to bargaining next week. We shut them down. They are not using their building. This is their property, they can't go on it, they can't use their building. Okay, we're making history here of how women can pull together with the help of very respectful men that respect women and believe women have equal place in the workforce. Like, our grandchildren will pay for this because they're going to get good jobs because we had to sacrifice right now for them. Breeding doctors! Breeding doctors! We're going to have to talk to us at some point. We got a tentative agreement where the doctors were finally forced back to the bargaining table. 
We made this decision after 122 days of hoping that doctors would come to their senses to treat their employees properly, but of course we knew that didn't happen. So as a result of our collective action, as a result of our sisters and brothers from across the country coming down into Thunder Bay, our surrounding of the facilities, are taking a real strong, bold action to get the doctor's attentions. I'm pleased to announce that we have a tentative agreement that has been ratified by our sisters in the clinic. And this only happens because of our union. DJ Composites, meet Unifor. How does it feel to be locked out? Locked out of your building? You know how proud I am to take a look behind me, to no longer see the American flag, but to see the Unifor flag. We come together coast to coast to coast in an incredible show of solidarity to support our sisters and brothers who have, for 21 months, defended their right to democracy at work. It was a different feeling this morning when we were pulling up here. Sort of like a relief, it's like our family was here, you know what I mean? It's just so good to see all these people coming together for us. It's very, very touching, very. They needed us here and we came. We are one solid group of 315,000 and we will go wherever it takes to prove that. See all you guys here is the biggest present that we've had for the last 93 weeks. So many people come together for just a few people. It's really heartwarming. You're no longer looking at 30 locked out members. You're looking at hundreds, thousands across this country that's fighting this battle with us. Tomorrow, next week, next month, we're not going anywhere. Si vous croyez vous attaquer un petit groupe en région, ben j'ai des petites nouvelles pour vous autres. Uniform ne se laissera jamais faire, ne va jamais abandonner ses membres. DJ Composite, you're out of business until further notice. I'm also here to say to the scabs, you are never coming back to work at DJ Composite. One day stronger! One day stronger! One day stronger! One day longer! One day stronger! We're, we're not backing down. We're going to stay here until this is done. It has been overwhelming to the members here. They can't believe the, the, the support that the country has come together and the union itself. Like from everybody to be here today and be up dancing and showing emotion, it's been overwhelming. Well, I am challenging the Premier today to do the right thing. Because our government is doing nothing. They're allowing an employer to break labor legislation. We have uniform delegations that have been sent to the office of the Minister of Labor and to the Minister of Health, John Hagee. We told him that we wanted him to call DJ Composites today if they ever wanted to get their building back. It's time that we did what was right for these 30 families. So we came to the point where we said, listen, it just has to be a wholesale barricade and that's it. And I can tell you that this fence is a signal that this workplace no longer belongs to the employer. We've been served court documents. Look at this package, seal envelope. Okay? We're staying. The actions that we have taken over the last few days have gotten everyone's attention. The government is getting involved in this dispute. Lana, Shane, and myself uh, we'll be flying to St. John's on Monday to meet the Premier. We had a very good discussion with the Premier and his team. He is committed to us uh, to use the power of the government in order to bring this to a head. Do you expect that the, uh, the presence in Gander will change? No. As a matter of fact, we're going to be escalating the presence in Gander. Uh, we're not going anywhere. The National Union has asked me to give you some important news. A short time ago, there was a conference call with Premier Dwight Ball, who informed us that after intense discussion with the company DJ Composites, has agreed to go to binding arbitration. I've never seen anything as powerful in my life as what I've witnessed here in the past week. 
and I am honored to be a part of this great union. I'll never forget this one, and thanks. When we pull together, these are the outcomes that are possible. And nobody's going to break our union. Because when you attack one of us, you attack all of us. One